Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how you can create a survey or a checklist in Microsoft Word that is completely functional. Functional meaning that as you go through the through the checklist or survey, it starts calculating data for you at the on the survey screen. So the way this one works, it's a customer satisfaction survey. Please rate the level of service using a scale of 1 to 5. 1 being unacceptable, 5 being exceptional. So I'm going to go on and go through these questions real quick. Number one, how would you rate the level of courtesy you experienced by your service representatives? I'm going to go on and score them as a one. It was completely unacceptable. Now I'm going to show you as I click that, the survey statistics went on and moved already. Average is, um, the average is 0.33. Now that's not completely accurate because the way I have this information calculating on the back end is that it gets all, it gets the, val the sum of the numbers you have selected and it divides it by three. So one divided by three, we have 0.33. That's not the real average, but again, I'm showing you just for the purpose of the video on, on how this is gonna work. Towards the right, on these numbers right here, this is the count of ones, the count of twos, the threes, the fours, and the fives, more like the sum. So I'm gonna go on and go to number two. I'm gonna select three. So now we have one one selected and one three selected. And then I'm gonna go on and have I'm going to select a number, another three. So I'm sorry, this is actually the count. So we have one one, zero twos, two threes, zero fours, and zero fives. The total average for one, three, and three is 2.33. Now what we can do is once you're done with this, you can click clear survey and a screen will come up. Are you sure you want to clear the survey? If you select no, nothing will happen. If we click clear survey and hit yes, the screen is completely cleared and we're off to a fresh start. If this is something that you're interested in making, I'm going to show you how to do that in the next coming videos. Now, it's not very challenging to do it. It does require a little bit of programming, but I'm going to show you step by step on how to do that. And I'm going to do that in a total of, of nine different videos. And to give you the breakdown of it, the video it's the videos are not long, but and it, I'm going to stress to you, it's not challenging to do. The only the only key is that patience. It does take patience to make a document like this because you do have to do a little programming work. But the way I'm going to break it down for you is I'm going to show you number one how to create this page using the uh, you know having the check boxes these these captions right here in the button. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to save the file as a document that supports macros. And then in the third video I'm going to show you how to set up the developers tab for the Visual Basic Editor, which is the tab that you see up here. You have the Developers tab. You probably won't see that on your screen if you've never done any kind of Visual Basic programming in Microsoft Word, but I'm going to show you how, how to add this to your screen. Number four, I'm going to give you um, the fourth video. I'm going to show you a little breakdown on these controls, what these checkboxes are, how to add these buttons. These are called ActiveX controls. I'm going to show you how to do that. And number five, the fifth video, I'm going to show you how to add the coding, the programming code for the, the checkboxes. And what I'll do just to make it easy is um, on that video, I'll, I'll just break it down into one video, just how to show you how to do the checkboxes for question number one. And then I'm going to do another video for you where I'll show you how to do two checkboxes. And then the last two. And then in the seventh video, I'm going to show you how to add the code for the clear survey button. In the eighth video, I'll show you how to do the calculations on how we calculate all this data in the back end. And then, of course, number nine, the last thing is, you know, we'll just try it out, putting it all together. Again, it may sound challenging, but it really isn't. As long as you follow me step by step in the next videos, you'll be able to get a survey like this going for your organization or for your business, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. I will show you how to complete this kind of survey or checklist. Well, I hope to see you in the next videos. Thank you for watching.